What is going on y'all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Here in today's video, I'll be doing an interview with boxer Clay Collard. Collard started his career as a UFC fighter before turning over to boxing, and he's been a very dominant fighter lately in boxing with top ranked fights. In three of his last four fights, he's upset uh, three undefeated opponents and he's really made a name for himself fighting with top rank. He currently has an 8-2-3 record and he will likely be fighting at the end of August. In this interview, I'll be talking with him a little bit about his boxing career, what the transition was like for him, moving from UFC to boxing, and much more. Here's the interview. Hey man, how's it going? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Uh, first off, I want to thank you very much for taking time out of your day to, to do this interview with me. Yeah, for sure, man. All right, so um, now my first question is, since Top Rank started fighting every Tuesday and Thursday with the coronavirus, you fought twice and won both fights. What have these past few weeks been like for you? Oh, um, man, it's just, you know, training, getting ready, you know, keeping my cardio high, and then driving out there for, you know, the fight. So we, we chose to drive out there just to stay off the plane, you know, but it's just... Yeah, man, at the gym every day until, you know, the fight, until we leave for the fight. So it's just been training. So now, as a boxer, what has it been like having to quarantine and go through all these tests once you get to Vegas for the fights? You know, honestly, it's very organized. So uh, everything runs, everything actually runs really smooth. Kind of sucks being, you know, locked in your hotel room without anything to do, but... Uh, last time I brought my PlayStation and just played some games, man, hung out. But yeah, super organized, man. Weigh-ins go quick. You're not sitting around waiting around. I, I, I've enjoyed it. So. so now, in three of your last four fights, you've been the underdog, ended up beating three undefeated opponents. So take me through what those experiences like for you, and what is it like to you being an underdog in a fight? Um, ask that question again. So now, in your last three fights, you were the underdog and took down three undefeated opponents. So, what were those? Take me through what those fights were like for you, and what is it like for you being an underdog in fights? You know, um, I never saw myself as the underdog. You know, I, I like the underdog story. You know, but um, I, I never looked at myself like an underdog. But I, I like other people to think that. You know, because. That I can show up and prove them wrong. So, um, as far as the opponents go, man, it's just, uh, you know, we, we like fighting tough guys. And, um, you know, it was, it was a way to prove myself in the boxing world is, is to go after those undefeated guys. So, um, I, I, I believed I could beat them and, you know, I just worked hard and, you know, got, got the win. So, so now, Prior to boxing, you fought in the UFC. So take me through what the transition was for you from the UFC to boxing. So that just um, kind of happened because of my coach. We actually started um, boxing to, to help better my all-around fighting game. So uh, it was just kind of like, you know, working on my hands, working on the, the basic fundamentals of boxing and, the range of boxing and everything like that. So um, that that's the whole reason we got into it in, in the first place is just a better my all around fight game, you know, and then uh, I started winning. So. so now growing up, was there a specific boxer or UFC fighter you kind of looked up to or tried to model your fighting after? So I've never tried to – you know, model my fighting after anybody. That's just, you know, I, I want to be myself. So, um, now the, the fight that got me into mixed martial arts, um, uh, was the first season of ultimate fighter with Forrest Griffin and Stefan Bonner. And so I remember being a kid and watching that with my mom and just being like, Oh, I'm going to do this one day, you know, I'm going to do this one day. And so now since you started boxing professionally, when did you realize that you had a serious shot at becoming a top prospect in the boxing world and making a big name for yourself? Man, that just kind of happened, you know, just recently. So I, I was just fighting tough guys and, and you know, just 
I, I have that true fighter spirit, you know, that's who I am. So I'm, I'm loving that I'm getting exposure and getting noticed, you know, I never, I, I don't, I don't think I've still realized it, you know, that, you know, I'm, I, I'm a top prospect in boxing right now, but, um, I'm, I'm just going to keep going, man. Like see how far I can take it for as long as I can, you know? Right. So now I read in some places that your next fight will likely be towards the end of August. Is that when you're looking at? And if so, do you have any idea who your next opponent will be? Yeah. So, I mean, we're in negotiations right now. So, uh, they sent me a few names and, um, sounds, sounds like that's going to be when it happens, you know, end of August. So, um, I'm just going to get, I, I started my camp today. I'm back in the gym today. So, I'm just going to get after it and, you know, I don't, I'm not really worried about the opponent. I don't, I don't care who it is, you know, right. I'm worried about myself and what I'm doing. So, all right, man, that was the last question. I want to thank you very much for taking time out of your day to do this call with me. It really means a lot. For sure, man. You have a good one. All right. You have a good one.